What's up guys, this is Chronic Rush HD and welcome to a brand new episode of my FIFA 13 Ultimate Team X Players Squad Builder. Today I've got the second Barclays Premier League team and we're going to be building a squad out of the X Aston Villa players. So the formation we're going to be playing is the 4-3-3. Works quite well with the players we're going to be using because it's got fair, for two fairly decent wingers. So in goal we've got a goalkeeper which is Brad Friedel currently plays for Tottenham he cost me 900 coins and is actually a fairly decent keeper works perfectly in those cheap Barclays Premier League teams he's got fairly decent stats I think he's got to be one of the best cheap keepers for the Barclays Premier League and he made 114 appearances for Aston Villa so he's been at that club for quite a long time moving on to the right back we've got a silver player currently plays for QPR and that is Luke Young he cost me 600 coins and he's got to be one of the worst right backs in the Barclays Premier League. Mainly because of his pace, it's just extremely, extremely slow. Maybe if he was a centre back he would be slightly better but I wouldn't advise getting him. Moving on to our first centre back, we have a goal player, currently plays for Chelsea and that is Gary Cahill. He's got fairly decent stats and cost me 1,700 coins. He's got 69 pace, 79 defending and 82 heading which is fairly decent stats, he's fairly pacing, he's got very, very good defending stats, and for 1,700 coins, isn't that bad. And remember guys, I did get all these players in a 4-3-3, therefore their price may be a little high. Moving on to the second centre-back, we've got another goal player, and that is Olaf Melberg. He's got, he cost me 800 coins, and his main downfall is obviously his 48 pace. Other than that, his 79 defending and 85 heading are very, very nice indeed. Maybe if he did have about 60 plus pace, he'd be a very, very good centre-back. But he made 232 appearances for West Ham, so made his fair share for the club and very well played to him. Moving on to the left-back, we have a silver player, which is Ridgewell. Used to be a centre-back in FIFA 12, and I think if he was a centre-back in FIFA 13, he'd go for an absolute fortune, because his stats, 69 pace, 72 defending and 80 heading, don't really go well with a left-back, but work perfectly for a centre-back. However, he did cost me 1,000 1,100 coins, and he's not a bad left-back, but again, his pace does let him down. Moving on to our first centre mid, we've got a goal player currently played for Manchester City, and that is James Milner. All of his stats are above 70, uh, just a very, very good, cheap centre mid. Uh, as you, I think his shot is just amazing, really good pass of the ball and quite skillful as well, and definitely worth the 900 coins. Moving on to our centre mid, uh, second centre mid, sorry, we currently have a CDM and that is Gareth Barry. He again plays for Manchester City and cost me 550 coins and not bad for a very, very cheap, good Barclays Premier League um, CDM. His pace does let him down with 53 pace, but that is not that much needed in a CDM. As you can see, the rest of his stats are above 70 and two stats in the 80. A very, very good CDM for those cheap Barclays Premier League teams. Moving on to the final centre mid, we have a silver player and in the cam position which is Sean Maloney currently plays for Wigan 74 rated and cost me 1700 coins he's not a bad center attacker mid but I do know there are better ones out there um, he made I think 30 appearances for um, Aston Villa so not that well known of a player but still he's not a de he's not a bad player but let's there is other ones you could use in the Barclays Premier League I'm not say probably Gardner or someone like that but let's move on to the attackers our right wing, we have a goal player currently plays for Liverpool, and that is Stuart Downing. 79 rated, he cost me 550 coins, and he's got 78 pace, 80 dribbling, 74 shot, and 77 passing. And for 500, and 500 coins, sorry, he's not actually that bad of a right wing. His pace is probably a little low for a winger, but still, he work, probably works quite well in those cheap uh, Barclays Premier League squads. Let's move on to the left wing, and we've got the most expensive player of the team, um, and that is Ashley Young. He is 82 rated and cost me 7,800 coins. Um, he normally is default in a left wing, and it cost, he cost, he's probably like five, I mean, let's say three times the price in a left wing in 4-3-3, so hence the reason it's quite high price, but he's very, very pacey, 89 pace, 85 dribbling, 76 shot, and 75 passing. 
Um, he's got three star weak foot, four star skill moves, and plays on the left, but as right foot, so he can cut in. He's a very, very good left wing and works really, really well in this team. Definitely go and try him. You could probably use him as a left mid, but I think he's more beneficial as a left wing. He seems to be uh, more attacking. So let's move on to the final player of the team, and that is our striker. We have Milan Barosh. Uh, this guy currently plays in the Turkish League for Galatasaray. He cost me 400 coins and he made um, 42 appearances for Aston Villa. He's got 74 pace, 74 dribbling, 74 shot um, and 4 star weak foot, 3 star skill moves. He's not that bad of a striker. He does lack in pace but he used to be a fantastic striker back in the days guys. But it, he's got worse and worse. He's probably got older and uh, just moved on, hasn't played that much football recently. I don't think he's uh, Galatasaray's number one striker either. So he's not that bad of a striker, but doesn't fill it for me. I think you probably get better ones. So guys, that is the team. It's got 82 chemistry. Let me just move on to some of the substitutes. Uh, we've got some in the Barclays Premier League. Let me just pop them up. We have uh, none on that page. We have Peter Crouch. Not a bad striker, but does lack in the pace. We have... Um, who else? We've got a few more. We have Stephen Sidwell. Again, not a bad centre mid. Works Probably works quite well in those cheap Barclays Premier League teams because he's got fairly decent stats for a centre mid. Moving on to... Uh, we've got any other players can I think of? Um, let me think. Uh, we've got uh, a silver Barclays Premier League player, which is Carlos Queller. He, um, he could be put as a right-back but again, he's not. He's probably one of the better centre backs of the Barclays Silver Barclays Premier League, just because his defending is probably the highest. But he's really, really slow. Um, he, I'm not sure. Only he made about 94 appearances for Aston Villa, and um, he played full back and centre back. So I did current. I did have him in the right back until I found out about Luke Young. So then I swapped him. Moving on to the final sub I can think of, which is. Um, Wayne Routledge plays for Swansea. He's not a bad player. Works quite well in the silver uh, Barclays Premier League teams with 84 pace. I think he's got four star skill moves and four star weak foot, but he's fairly expensive. So, guys, that is the ex Aston Villa squad. Remember, if you enjoyed any of this episode, remember to hit that like button. If you've got any feedback, any suggestions to change this team up, put them in the comments. And also, if you've got any requests for, say, other teams, put that in the comments too. Subscribe for more. And this has been Chronic Rush HD. And until next time, adios!